so often our girls are told, you know, this isn't for you, this science stuff and this this mad stuff, this, 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 this stuff isn't for you. You need, you need to sing or dance or cook or sew. And it, it doesn't have to be that way anymore. There's an app that hasn't been developed that somebody in this room is going to develop that will be worth billions of dollars. Anybody need a couple billions? Think about what's possible. Believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, it's very hard for others to believe in you. You have to have a mindset. You have to invest in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. And more importantly, you have to take action. The action you're taking today is investing in your own education, investing in yourself, learning about what's possible with technology. How am I gonna take my values, my core beliefs, my philosophy, what I believe in, and how am I gonna infuse that into making what's next, the next big thing, whatever that is? How do you influence culture? How do you influence the people around you and inspire them to achieve more? Because you're inspired to achieve more. Please, I encourage you when you leave here, for you to be influential and impactful and influence an entire culture of women to be great. So this, I think you guys have seen that Microsoft has loads of opportunities. You know, find out an opportunity where you can work in an environment, may not make any money, but at least you can come in and learn and grow. So try to intern, get a job that allows you to be able to shadow the area that you're most interested in. You can choose any form of next gen profession that you want to be in. And I am only here today to inspire you to do your best. Pick things that you like and then evolve around those things. If you are looking outside for motivation, you're already too far away from where you need to be. Your motivation should come from you first. If people see you motivated, people buy into that passion. You cannot sell what you do not buy yourself. You want to think of a new way of working. You don't want to do the things the same old way. There are lots of business, businesses that are being disrupted these days and challenged by new business models. And it's for people like you and the new generation. I'm really happy that when we have an opportunity to become somebody, to become greater than what we're told we couldn't be. I didn't know y'all had like tablets, touch screens, or it was even a 3D printer. So it broadens up your idea of what you can make and who you could be. I really had no idea stuff like this existed. Like, cause almost every science fiction movie you see, they got stuff like this and you think it's not real. Like, who? That was beautiful. I would love to buy something like that. Buy. Buy. B-U-Y. We don't buy anymore, we make. You're going to make this. Today's event is a fantastic uh, event for Microsoft and the young ladies that we're serving today in the DigiGirls event. We're, we're having over 100 young ladies here learning about science, technology, engineering, and math, designing applications, having some fun, uh, seeing Microsoft maybe from a little bit of a different point of view than they might have uh, previously. Uh, so many young ladies, especially in the engineering and science worlds, think, well, there's no job for me, it's a man's world, and we're, we're, we're out to change that and that there's plenty of opportunity for young ladies uh, to uh, excel. And our overall mission is to help every person, every organization on the planet to achieve more. And what better way to do that than with a group of young ladies and help them see the opportunity for them to achieve more in their life.